Hi, friends. Happy New Year. Oh, my goodness. I'm sitting in the back of our new car. In case you didn't see uh, the short, I filmed a short. Um, we got a new car. So my new mom car. Got the boys in the back. Got Emmy right here next to us. And I'm currently charging the car. It's at 26%. And it says it's going to take an hour to charge it. So I don't think we'll get a full charge, but we'll try to get as much charge that Emmy will, will give me sitting in her car seat. Um, hi! Happy New Year! Oh my goodness. It's felt like, it felt like forever because honestly I haven't filmed a day in the life in forever. But... It was, we had the most wonderful holiday break. I hope that you all had a really wonderful break. I never wanted it to end. I got emotional this morning. Jeff went to work, dropped Hugo off at school, dropped Theodore off at school, and it like broke my heart into a million pieces that like were back into the routine. And like, don't get me wrong, I love the routine. I, I like love their schools, they love school, but it was, there was just something so, so magical about this holiday break. Like we just had the best time. We were really able to just like be together and be in the moment. And it just felt like extra magical. And it was Emmy's first Christmas. And it was just so great. Like everything about it was so amazing. Um, so it was sad this morning when like, and it was also a bit jarring too, like to go from really sort of quiet slow mornings to all of a sudden like getting all the kids ready by myself <laughs> ready for school getting all of us out of the door um making lunches packing backpacks clothes like all that stuff it was like okay wow this is I forgot this is a lot but we did it so um yeah, I feel like I have a million things that I want to catch everyone up on. I'm going to go um, because someone just parked next to us and I feel awkward. <laughs> but I'll check back in with you guys. The plan is to let this charge for as long as possible. Then we'll go home. Um, and we will be due for some milk. And then um, I'll check back in then. And then we'll go back out to pick up Theo. All right, we're home. Emmy's having her milk. Oh, man, oh man, what a morning it's been. I can't believe it's like not even 10 a.m. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get used to these these busy school mornings again. Um, anyway, I walked through the door and sat down and was like, I wanna share some of my New Year's resolutions. Literally no one asked. And I know that like, it's not, it's not the way, the collective way anymore to do New Year's resolutions, but I love them. I love New Year's resolutions. I love sharing my resolutions. I love the like collective hive mind that comes around this time of year where like people are outwardly sharing their goals and outwardly sharing their intentions for the year. And like, I feel like it's super inspiring. And yeah, I love, I love all that stuff. So you're gonna get that here. <laughs> Again, no one asked. But I have a few New Year's resolutions, one of which is to just take care, take better care of myself. And I feel like that's a huge one for moms, but it's going to be a little more superficial for me. And it is like to buy myself new clothes, buy myself new shoes, get haircuts regularly, invest in my skincare, like all that stuff that you would think like, oh, that's super materialistic. That's super shallow of you. But like, honestly, as a mom who has not bought herself new clothes, who always spends money on clothes and shoes for my kids first and my husband second, like I made the realization a few weeks ago, like I deserve new clothes. I deserve to feel and look cute. And I tend to just wear like I'm wearing my maternity leggings now. And like, I get it. I've been pregnant. My body's been changing a lot these past few years, but like, Again, I deserve to like feel good in my clothes and to like see something that I like that's cute and to buy it for myself. Like that's 100% the vibe for this year. And I don't think it's selfish. I don't think it's shallow. I think that if I feel good and confident about myself, it teaches my children to like invest in themselves and to feel good and confident about themselves. Another um, New Year's resolution for me is just to like keep making 
the cleanliness and tidiness of our home a priority and like it makes it sound like we live in a dirty home because we don't and i've always been really good at keeping a clean home but i just want to keep that like that that's going to be like the header of my life as a domestic mother if that makes sense so trying to keep on top of the laundry and cleaning when and where i can like not putting unrealistic expectations on myself but my primary job is stay at home mom i do work outside of the home on some days and i make money online but my kids and being a stay-at-home mom are my primary occupation and so just like taking taking more pride in that not feeling like ashamed in it and in turn like allowing that love that i feel for my family to like really exude itself in my home and for my home to mirror that if that makes sense so i mean really in the day-to-day -day, that just means like wiping down the countertops making sure that the kitchen is tidy doing the dishes all the time and like the, the laundry and like just trying to keep up on that stuff and like i know i'm gonna have days where it feels overwhelming and i just can't and i know that there's gonna be days where like the kitchen's a mess or like and all of that is fine it's just i don't know like just taking taking pride in my duties as a house mom as a housewife and stay-at-home mom and like just letting that that letting that lead my intention within the home i hope that makes sense anyway i'm gonna finish giving emmy this bottle <laughs> king of taking care of myself she just had her milk and i am going to do a short little workout or as you come down did it quick 15 minutes done and dusted also, we put the Finding Nemo jumper together for Emmy. Guys, please comment below if you have been here since Hugo was a baby and since he was in this little jumper. Every single kid we have, I'm like, how did we get to, like, when we set this up, put them in, it's like, how did we get here? The time goes by so fast. Blink and it's the next child. Blink and it's the next child. How does that happen? How does that happen? I'm going to make myself a protein shake. Even though I really don't want one, I'm hungry. But being that I did just do a workout, I feel like I should get the protein in. We need to leave in 10 minutes to go pick up Theo. I knew when I like got really sad this morning with dropping him off at school that I was gonna blink and it was gonna be time to pick him up. And then after we pick him up, I put in an order for pickup at Target. We need to pick up more formula for Amelia and then like a couple other like little snacky bits. So it'll be good to bring a protein shake with me. Let's go get Theo. We're gonna go get your brother in school. All right, friends, we're home from pickup also grabbed um a few groceries from target jeff for christmas got me this box from nuts.com it sounds so funny but it's perfect because it came with these like six little boxes of snacks so like chocolate covered almonds bourbon coated pecans um peanut butter filled pretzels apricots like you know like a little snack I don't know, what you'd find at the bar but i just had a little bit of soup for lunch but i'm still a little bit peckish i'm still a little bit hungry and i feel like it's almost two o'clock this is like the perfect time for something like this so good i'm gonna have a little coffee i forgot until after i did my workout i was feeling really tired i was like all right i forgot that i like didn't have a good night's sleep last night i was up like all night I felt so anxious about today and just like with the kids going back to school I'm like getting back into our routine that I like could not sleep. I had a terrible, terrible night's sleep. So I'm gonna need a little extra coffee today. Hi friends. Um, okay, so last thing I wanted to mention in this vlog and then I'm actually gonna probably close out the vlog uh, because I found that it's actually super helpful when I finish vlogs earlier in the day like before we go pick up hugo and the whole like routine of the night starts to happen um because doing bedtime 
doing dinner, bath time, bedtime with three kids is a lot, as you can imagine. So um, I always like finishing out the vlogs a little bit earlier in the day. Um, but I did want to mention, this was another thing that Jeff got me for Christmas, and it is called the Omera Colostrum. So one of her bottles just went flying. Um, obviously not sponsored, but this is, I've been taking this now for like maybe a week, and it's really cool. It's it says that it's for your immune system and it's supposed to like protect, regenerate, and strengthen your immune system. Um, the marketing on this brand, on this product is like a little unclear. Like I've been getting some targeted ads that are like more geared toward this being a really great supplement for hair loss, which I thought was really interesting because I, I have mentioned in the past that like I wanted to take something for hair loss. And um, a few of the ads that I've seen for this product have been like raving about how it helps with hair regeneration and regrowth and stuff. Um, and then I've seen the other like half of the targeted ads I've been getting have been just like about immune and like rebuilding your immune system and like protecting your immune system and about how it's like so great, especially during the winter time. I don't know. Uh, there aren't like, there's nothing energizing I don't think about this. So it's not like, it's not like a caffeine jolt or anything. Um, but I've been enjoying it and it's been like a nice little like ritual that I feel like I'm doing something good for myself and feels good too. Um, they come in like, a, they come in these little packets. They also have like a tub that you can buy. So you get some taller glasses, like bigger glasses. They don't, they have tall glasses. They're just not very, they don't hold a lot of liquid. Cheers friends. Cheers to a brand new year. A happy, healthy all around fruitful year for everyone. I hope that you can journey into this year with a grateful heart. I hope that we can all just like find peace in everything that we have and everything that we've been blessed with and just wishing everyone the best of health as we go into this year. So I love you all so much. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you have any requests for this year, um, content wise for me, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, friends.